Thank you. I, uh, I was just going to tell you a quick story, uh, which is uh, I've always had, I've had this lifelong fear of bears. And a few years ago, I attempted to face this fear. My sister Patty and I went to Alaska, which I highly recommend. And we went to a place. <laughs> why not? And uh, <laughs> we went to a place called Katmai National Park that has so many bears that when you arrive, they take you to what's called bear orientation. And they teach you, and I'm not kidding, they, they, if you ever see a bear walking towards you, you're actually supposed to clap and make the bear aware of your presence. Like, I'm right here, bear! I'm right here! I'm Mike, and you're a bear! And when they told me this, I was like, oh, I'm going to be murdered by a bear, because that seems like basting yourself in barbecue sauce. Yeah, you know, like, I'm right here, bear! I'm right here, and I taste fantastic! I've applied condiments so that I'll be less bland. Well, Patty and I went fly fishing. I don't know if you've ever tried this, but it's much more difficult than it looks and a river runs through it. Uh, but we're, we're waist deep in water. We're in the rubber pants. You know, they're called waders. And there are salmon jumping out of the water in front of us, literally jumping, which is what I would do if I were a fish. That seems like a great field trip. You're in the boring water all day, and all of a sudden you're like, whoa, I want to stay here grow legs and become a human, <laughs> which is what happened over time. <laughs> Sorry, homeschoolers. <laughs> but, the, <laughs> but, the, but the salmon are jumping out of the water, but I can't catch them with the rod. There's this whole kind of conductor maneuver with fly fishing. If you don't catch them, you feel like an idiot. You're like, I should have brought a net, because they're just jumping. That'd be a lot easier. We're, we're with this fi the fishing guide, this professional fishing guide, and he feels bad for me because I'm so terrible. So he catches himself, places the rod in my hands, and goes, you got one! <laughs> and that hurt, you know, because I knew I hadn't. Well, well, here's where it heats up. I'm with this professional fishing guide. My sister Patty's about 75 yards behind us, and I hear her say, Mike? And it was the voice of someone who was about to be mauled. Yeah. <laughs> Had a very distinct pitch, you know. It was like, Mike? <laughs> like right here, she thought there might be a bear. Right here, has a bear. <laughs> like, if she knew the whole time, it'd just be like, Mike. <laughs> I turn around, there's an eight foot brown bear walking towards her in the water. Very surreal, because he wasn't running. You know, he wasn't like, I will murder you. Rah! <laughs> he was just like, I'm a bear, etc. <laughs> Well, here it was, my greatest fear in my entire life, and I was proud of myself because I built up the courage to say, guide, do something. <laughs> and the guide snapped into action. He sprinted over in the water, and he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the bear walks away. He's like, all right, I'm a bear, etc." <laughs> And I was very relieved that my sister didn't get mauled, but in retrospect, I was a little angry at the guide. I was like, you know, you didn't tell me about the hyah plan. <laughs> you just told me to go, I'm right here, bear. I'm right here. My name is Mike. It's like he gave me the bad parachute. <laughs> Everybody's chute goes off, and then I have the multicolored gym class parachute. <laughs> I'm like, this doesn't do anything except build team skills. <laughs> Uh, all right, now you go under. All right, thanks a lot, everybody. That's my, that's my bad story.